Eric with the Lomax in Ocean, New Jersey. I want to show uh, this situation with this uh, this room here. This is a master bedroom. And I'm already kind of prepared here a little bit uh, to go over this. I actually went over all this with the customer. This is the day of the service, day of the treatment. I already did the inspection. I didn't go all this crazy with the inspection. I didn't turn the beds up and all that. It would have been better if the beds were all turned up for the inspection, but it was already confirmed, really. I said, don't touch, don't disturb the uh, furniture until we do a treatment. I mean, it's already confirmed there are bed bugs from a visual inspection without even having to move anything. But I'm, I'm already getting ready for service. And I want to go over this with you on how we do the service. Kind of just kind of go over it a little bit. You got to pull the furniture. got to pull the furniture away from the wall about a foot for inspection and treatment. But you can't you can't move the furniture all. Some rooms are too. Aren't, aren't big enough, so you can only kind of work your way, do what's important first, do the big stuff first, put everything back, and then that way you can move the other f part of the furniture and kind of work your way out. And then as you move things around, everything else is put back. It's already been treated. You don't have to go to the same spot. So we're going to do the armoire, we're going to do the bed, we're going to do the back wall, and we're going to put everything back together. We're going to treat the mattress on both sides, and we're going to put that back down. And treat the treat the carpet under the bed, and then uh, you know, <clears throat> then treat the dressers. But I want to show you this situation. It's so I mean, this, they didn't even know they had a problem. All of a sudden, they saw one or two bed bugs pop up. Oh, we have bed bugs. We you know we started doing doing research, and we, we think they're bed bugs. <laughs> and I come to the house, and this is what I uncovered. You know, this is just a box spring part. And look how that that's the exterior part of the uh, box spring are the, all the bed bug uh, droppings and, and adults and they're laying eggs and they're all in clusters it's not even they don't even nest but they congregate together and they're inside and even in the uh, where the cloth is stapled look at all that activity there they're not moving you know that's why I don't I don't really make any sharp movements or any quick movements when I when I turn it up I'm really slow I don't, that's how you get bed bugs to scatter by disturbing them. Not the treatment. The treatment doesn't get them to scatter. It's the actual moving things around. Look, look how established they are. In this one. And then as you as you go down, that's where the head is. And as you go further down, it's a little lighter. But it shouldn't it doesn't really matter. But because the, the heat comes up from the top of the head, the body heat, and also your carbon. Uh, dioxide that you breathe out. That's where the head part. So usually the head part of the beds uh, will be more infested than the beak part of the beds. And when you go here, uh, even the tags, that's why I hate tags. I think it should be a law now, the law, to remove the tags. They say it's against the law to remove the tags. <laughs> but I think it's, it should be the law. They're all over the tag, the back of the tags. And that, you know, when I'm doing like hotel rooms and stuff like that, the first thing I look at is the head part, head headboard part, the bed, the tags, the skirts, and then you you recover. You know, these right here, we're looking at 50 bed bugs. This is one one spot. It's not even that soiled. Where here it's hundreds, but here it's like just 50 or so. Look at they haven't even fed yet. They just hatched. These bed bugs just hatched and they haven't changed color. Here's a small tiny one. Kind of running around. That one has fat already because it's already brownish. When they hatch, they're clear, and then they they turn brown and then they molt. So I'm standing this close. I don't worry about it. I've been doing this for 20 years. I usually will wear a Tyvek suit if I'm dealing with a severe infestation. I never carried one back. I know how to be careful. You got to be careful when you work with these things. That's why it's it's good to have one person do the job unless it's like a you know one person do an apartment or a house at a time because one person could just be a little rough and be in a rush and disturb the population and then the guy walks in and they're running all over the place and crawling their pant legs. But with me, I'm really really quiet. I have a quiet approach. I just kind of look at them. They don't they don't want to bother you. They want to be sleeping right now. They don't want to be bothered. They don't want to be trying to. They're not going to jump on you or attack you like I'm like fleas. And fleas will come right at you, and jump on you. These guys think they're hiding still because I didn't disturb them. They think they're still hiding from me. Uh, yeah, they're all over. So I mean, uh, people's reaction would be, "Oh my God, 
this place is infested. We gotta throw away all the furniture. And and this represents only half the even twenty percent of the bed bug population is on the bed. The rest is not on the bed. The rest is established hiding in the furniture and the walls, baseboard molding where it's they go under the carpet, around the the frame of the window, underneath the the, the sill. That little apron there has the gaps and holes where they go up, up under there. There could be thousands behind that piece of wood there. Because right by the headboard, there could be thousands back there. I don't have to really look. I know there's bed bugs, so we're going to treat everything methodically. Treat everything. Don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about doing further inspection. Inspection is only to verify that there's bed bugs. And the, and the more infested the bed bug is, the more protected you have to be, the slower you have to work. And the more careful, and the more volume of product you have to apply. So my my cocktail is definitely going to get rid of this problem today. And what I like to do with a heavy infestation like this, before I start really doing anything, because uh, as I'm spraying, I'm going to be moving things around. And as I move things around, things are going to get disturbed. So I'm going to take a piece of duct tape here, and I'm going to put the duct tape right on the bed bugs. Look at that. Instead of spraying or squashing them, let's put the tape on it. Look at that. I caught about 50. And eggs and everything on the tape. And you just put the tape. You could just like throw that. They're stuck. You just put that in a pile somewhere. Let's get another piece. Let's get another piece. Okay. See how many I can get on one piece while holding the camera. You know, you could do pesticides, but uh, and they're running and they'll die. But I mean, why not? Why not just eliminate a large majority of them by with just the tape? You don't even have to press. You don't even have to press down unless you're getting into a groove. Unless you're getting into the groove. Look at that. All wiggling around. Look at that. They got me. They're probably just resting. <laughs> they don't have to worry about it dropping off and crawling anywhere. I like to do this. I discovered this about three years ago, doing it this method. And this is great when you're doing uh, for your home, when you discover it yourself. It's a great way to... It's a great way to get a specimen for your pest management professional to verify bed bugs. So squashing it and it's out of a crushed napkin or it's all squashed and smashed. You can't identify it. You know, you just, you can just save them on the tape. And, uh, it's awesome. And you can just lay it right side up, really. You know, hey, and then, then call your guy and then tell him, I, you know, I had the sample. I have the sample for you, and uh, I'll come in, right? Have this right here. They're not going to go anywhere. <laughs> They're trapped. This black tape is heavier. It's so all weather tape, and it should be new. You shouldn't get something from the garage. You don't know how sticky it is. Get a new roll. A new roll costs you $4. And just leave it out like that. That's a great way to get a specimen. 